All right. Um, thank you very much. Hi, everyone, and um, good morning from my end. Thank you for um, joining my session. So today I'm going to be talking about Wikitongs and how it's been pre preserving language diversity and also um, empowering communities through language documentation. OK, so um, as you all know, or maybe you might not know, but there are over 7,000 languages spoken across the world today. But then every year, an average of one language dies out. That's one language every two weeks dies. And when a language dies, it's not just the words that are lost, which maybe some people might think. It's also the history of that um, those people, their culture and the knowledge of the people who spoke it. We lose important information about the world, and we also lose a way of seeing the world. And um, this is one of uh, one of the things that Wikitongs is um, working to prevent from happening. They are using technology as well as Wikimedia projects to um, document endangered languages so that they can be preserved for future generations. They're also working to um, empower communities to use these languages so they can thrive. Some languages, when you check them today, they only have 20 to um, 30 um, living speakers. The Donsa language, for example, in Papua New Guinea has an estimated number of 20 to 30 living speakers. There is also um, the Kambap language in Cameroon and so many more languages. Now, you might be wondering what Wikitongs is because I know a lot of people do not um, are not familiar with Wikitongs. Wikitongs is also a Wikimedia user group and a non-profit organization whose mission is to preserve endangered languages and empower communities um, through languages. Now, you'll be wondering language documentation. Why is it important? I mean, it's in, is it necessary? It's actually very important to document um, languages. And um, some of the reasons why it could be that it preserves endangered languages. When a language is documented, it's preserved for the future. And this is important because endangered languages are very valuable to humans and it's also a very um, valuable aspect of human knowledge and culture. And if, we're, if we have to, uh, um, should I say, if as the Wikimedia movement, we are promoting free knowledge, free and open knowledge, then language is also a very vital part of that um, promotion and that knowledge we're talking about. And another thing, um, another reason for documenting languages is that it empowers communities. Language documentation can empower people by giving them a voice. You know, uh, it helps you to know where you're coming from and where you're going to. If you don't know your language, sometimes you feel like you're being left out, especially from the part of the world where I come from. It also helps to prevent language loss. So when there is documentation, the future generation can um, have access to them. I used to know of a language that the last living speaker died in 1992. And ever since then, it's been hard getting other living speakers of the language. Now you'll be wondering how um, Wikitongs actually documents these languages. So the first one is, is that it uses technology to make documentation more accessible and efficient. There's a crowdsourcing platform and um, what we call a seed bank where um, linguists actually a group of or a network of linguists get to document languages and upload them for use there are over 700 um, languages in those seed banks it can be they are in form of videos and audios and so much more then there's also the community engagement part of it when wikitongs works with them with communities they ensure that language documentation is done in a proper way. You can't just go into a community and then you decide to start documenting. Sometimes it causes problems. So they try to um, teach you how to be respectful and how it will be beneficial to the community. And then they also train um, community members to document their own languages. Now we have um, the language accelerator program as well. Um, Wikitongs, um, organizes a language accelerator program. Since 2022, it's been organizing this program. And we started with 10. This year, we have 21 people in the program. And these linguists or these activists, they come in to do a whole lot of things for their communities to preserve their languages. Some of the languages I noticed, they had like 2,000, 3,000 living speakers. Some had um, 7,000. And they, had, they came from different parts of the world. 
Some came from Africa, some came from Asia, Europe, Australia, and so many places. And um, for this year, uh, the selection was made across 20 different countries. And for the Seed Bank of um, Language Diversity, which, are not, which is another um, way that Wikitongs documents their languages, this is the way that you can, in this um, aspect, you can contribute your videos, your audio recordings, your dictionaries, and other resources related to your mother tongues. So, um, for example, the participants of the Language Accelerator Program, some of them develop keyboards. I know of someone who is developing a keyboard. There are people who are building up dictionaries and so many things to use and preserve their languages. Now, these um, resources can be uploaded to the Seed Bank of Language Diversity. Some of them can be in form of audios and those keyboards that I mentioned about. And then there's the global network of linguists. Um, we can't do this alone without linguists, our um, language enthusiasts or language activists. So that is the reason why we have a global network of them. A lot of them get to donate videos. A lot of them get to donate audios that has to do with those languages that they are working to preserve or to revitalize. And there's also um, the language sustainability toolkit. So for example, as a Wikimedian, um, you come from a community which the language is endangered. We have the language um, sustainability toolkit that you can use to document your language. So this toolkit helps you to develop um, your, should I say like your plan and your goals for starting a revitalization project for your community. It guides you, for now it's still in English, but we're working towards getting as many um, translations as possible. But then um, Wikitongs projects are not restricted to English. We have um, speakers of other languages and um, during the language vitalize, revitalization project, for example, we have speakers of other languages and we have access to translators and translation tools to make it easier. Then there's the Jewish languages project, which is intended for the documentation of endangered languages. There are lots of um, endangered Jewish languages, which the Wikitongs um, projects are, are working to revitalize and to also document. Now, I will invite you to take action, whether you're a linguist, a community member, or simply passionate about cultural preservation, there's a role for you. You can either visit Wikitong's website to contribute to documentation efforts, and also spread the word about the importance of language diversity. And another thing you can also do is to join the Wikitong's user group. So um, the Wikitong's user group has been down for a while, but now we are working to come up. We are back um, to the community, and we're going to be starting our first program in um, September. That's next month. So you're welcome to join the Wikitong Caesar group if you're enthusiastic about languages or preserving a language. And the good thing is that the language accelerator program is open to everyone. All language documentation and revitalization projects are also open to everyone. So it's not something that is just for outsiders or linguists or um, you as a Wikimedian can join. We have 10 Wikimedians in um, the Language um, Revitalization Accelerator. And they are also working to preserve their projects through various um, areas and aspects. Some of them are building Wikipedia, Wikimedia projects, they're building Wikipedias, some are building Lexims, while some are working on developing keyboards that can help in contribution to their languages. So you're welcome to join us in any way you think that you might um, want to help your community grow or revitalize their languages. In conclusion, let's remember that language diversity is a treasure that enriches our world. And Wikitong's dedication to preserving languages and empowering communities is an inspiring example of what we can achieve when we work together. So I'm inviting you if you feel that your language has less speakers, um, less living speakers, or it has, um, there are some that actually have one living speaker. And once the one living speaker dies, that simply means the language dies if it is not preserved. So you're welcome today to join us in Wikitongs to preserve your language. Thank you for joining me in this exploration. You can email me at stochi at wikitongs.org 
or you can email the whole Wikitongs team at hello at wikitongs.org. I'm also on LinkedIn at Stretchy Precious. Um, once again, thank you for joining the session. If you have any question regarding um, language revitalization or documentation, I'm open to that. Thank you, everyone. Um, hello, Tochi. This is Daria from Wikimedia UK. Um, I have a question Hi, for you. Hello. I'm curious um, if you feel what Wikitongs is doing is completely unique in the Wikimedia movement, uh, or maybe are there other initiatives that you think are, um, I don't know, similar or connected? That I, I guess I'm thinking, are you like an island that is doing this thing, or are there like connections, uh, maybe uh, overlaps or other projects that are um, yeah, supporting you. I was thinking, for example, about the, I don't know if you know, like the manuscript um, preservation. It's more wiki source, but it reminded me a little bit of the idea of preservation. So um, I think yeah. I, lost I lost you, but I don't know. If oh, no. Uh, so uh, simple question. Oh, I don't know how to help. <laughs> Are you working alone or with others? I can write in chat, maybe? I don't know. Ah, okay. So. Oh. But it's, it's red, so... No, I, I said it's from her end. Ah, yes, 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 I think so, too. Oh, it's a shame. I can try again later. Okay. Sorry, Daria, I lost you. Ah. OK. <laughs> Did you hear anything? Or? No, she didn't. Um, I heard when you were asking if there were other communities in the um, user group, if there are other user groups or communities doing yeah. the same thing, or there's are an you collaborating? Or... Yes, are you collaborating? Are there other people, or is your project, uh, you would you say, unique? Um, 